They assassinated probably the next strongest Democrat in America. His name is Andrew Cuomo. He is the strongest Democrat in America right now. He is. Um, or was. I should, let me say was. Um, Chuck Schumer, you know, he's a marginal leader of the Senate. He's a Democrat. He's a senator. Uh, but, you know, he's Jewish. And a lot of people hold Jewish race against having them as president. Uh, but the strongest up until a couple of months ago, the strongest Democrat in the Repu in the uh, in the, uh, the Democrat Party was Andrew Cuomo from New York. Governor Andrew Cuomo had done a great job with the uh, coronavirus on television every day, holding these press conferences. And Kamala Harris and Obama put out a hit a political hit on Andrew Cuomo. All of a sudden, women started coming out of the woodwork talking about he smiled at me or he hugged me or he winked at me or he asked me if I like men. You know, I mean, it was all over everywhere. Quite frankly, I think the same thing, for parenthetic, if I can just change the conversation, I think the same thing's happened with Matthew, uh, Matt Gates down in Florida, Republican boy from down in Florida, crazy one, right? I, you know, they've been talking about he was going with a 17-year-old girl. I ain't seen the evidence. All I that's all on the news. But I think that is that boy, Ron DeSantis, the governor of the state of Florida, uh, along with Trump, uh, that that's trying to stop Matt Gates. Matt Gates is charismatic, and they're trying to trying to say he was a you know, prostitute and running around with a bunch of young girls and paying girls for sex and, you know, snorting coke. And I think they're trying to assassinate Matt Gates because Matt Gates is up and coming right. And Ron DeSantis wants to be, Ron DeSantis wants to run for the Republican nomination and be the Republican president. So he's kissing up to Trump. And so th this is the kind of assassination of character people. But what they did to Andrew Cuomo I, is just unthinkable. Obama and Kamala Harris, you know, and uh, the, and Jim Clyburn and the squad and Black Lives Matter dragged Andrew Cuomo through the mud. And they were telling you, he, he need to resign. And all the black Democrats here in New York, they were all talking about he must resign, he must resign, he must resign. And I sent out a tweet. I, you know I ain't for no Democrat. I ain't for none of these. You know that. But I sent out a tweet, and I told him, pray, man, Andrew, don't resign. Keep fighting these. Don't resign. Hold your, hold your ground. And, you know, I can keep you see, Manning, now you're dropping names. Okay, I'll drop him, drop, drop, drop a name. But I knew his father well, Mario. Mario Cuomo. And, uh, you know, just on the fact, I know his, his father and his mother, Matilda. Uh, don't man, I, Mr. Quote. So he started back. You haven't heard anything from him. He he said he ain't resigning. Y'all can go to hell. He ain't resigning. But the question is now, can he beat Kamala Harris in a heads up? And I think he still can. I I think he can still beat her. But that Kamala got Kamala Black Harris woman. That woman is a hustler, a gold digger for way back here. You know she was digging for gold when she was going with Willie Brown out there, and, uh, sweet Willie. Sweet Willie Brown out there in San Francisco years ago when Willie Brown was the mayor of San Francisco. Oh, Kamala, Kamala Harris and Willie Brown were seen on the San Francisco scene making out in front of everybody. He bought her a $380,000 Ferrari, a red one. Kamala Harris was running around the streets of San Francisco crossing the Golden Gate Bridge in a, a, a Ferrari bought by her boyfriend, the mayor of San Francisco, Willie Brown. Kamala Harris, gold digging. That's the, that woman know how to dig for some gold. She probably should have been a part of the Alaska 49ers digging for gold. And now... After Willie Brown dumped her, uh, and she married this Jewish guy. That don't make no sense. But then we're here. But she wanted to be president, that Kamala Harris. She wants to be president. And um, and I'm, you know, I'm not I, here. Yeah, I ain't got I don't have a dog in this fight. But I can tell you this, Andrew Cuomo is getting Trump stomped on by Obama and Kamala Harris. They tried to drag up all these women. Well, he hugged me one time. Well, he asked me if I had a date one time. And I said, what the, what the hell is all of this? You know, 
If that's the case, you're going to arrest every man who, unless you got some damn man who think he's so damn pure. He ain't never said nothing to a woman. He ain't never looked at a woman and thought, well, maybe even if he is married, thought that maybe I'll do something. You so damn pure. You ain't never had a desire to have sex with nobody but your wife. Get the hell out of here. Get out of my face. Get the hell away from me. Thinking that you so trying to make yourself so pure. And then what they try to do to Andrew Cuomo, right? He was married to one of them Kennedy women, I think. They got divorced. And 20 some women, 20 women all jumped on. Well, yeah, he said something to me on the campaign trip. He, he invited me to his hotel room. I took a look at it, said, ugly as you are. I don't know why he did that. Anyway, but he stood his ground. He's still standing. I'm not, you know, I ain't got no dog in this fight with, for Matt Gates either, but I think they're trying to, I think Ron DeSantis is trying to trying to hang Mike, Mike, uh, uh, Matt Gates. You know? I, 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 think that's, I think that's who's out there, because Matt Gates has a potential to, he's charismatic. That boy could grab the Republican nomination in a heartbeat. So, um, you know, the, um, we just got to look at the politics of all of this. Uh, Biden is not, Biden, my time is not your president. And probably Kamala Harris is standing right behind him and said, you did not say anything. That, um, you know, I, I'm trying to figure out this, which way you're going to go for 2024. I think Roger Stone, I think Roger Stone is the kingmaker here. I think Roger Stone control, can con, control, Tribulation Trump. Uh, Roger Stone uh, has got the goods. And it'll be, I think if Jesus doesn't come back anytime soon, it's going to be Roger Stone who makes the, who's the kingmaker for the Republican nomination. And if they're ever going to be another Republican president, it's going to be because Roger Stone said so. Me, I'm James David Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord servant. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon. Uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.